you too. We live here in Halstead, a study university that you can see it in the background. We've lived there more than a year and we really love it. We like the university, the people, but more about that later. I bet you're wondering a little about this town and country. So here is a little sample for you. Sweden is a long shared country up in the north of Europe. The country neighbors are Finland, Norway and Denmark. The capital of Sweden is Stockholm and Sweden's got approximately 9 million inhabitants. It's a monarchy and the weather can be all from the most striking sun in the summer to the coldest snow in the winter. Here is Halmstad, a little town on the west coast and it's got about 90,000 inhabitants. Here you can enjoy everything from good shopping, nice cafes and restaurants to nice nature, sport activities and the ocean just 10 minutes from the school and the city. Amstad University is a popular university, known for its many courses and small student groups. In 2008, Amstad University celebrated its 25th anniversary, and today it's got 10,000 students, over 50 programs and 40 professors. Thank you. What was your first impression when you first got to Sweden? Well, I was really struck by the silence. Of course, there are people and there are cars, but not as in the big capitals in Europe. So I think you can really study and focus on it and focus on your own private life, of course. Mm -hmm. But what do you think about the Swedish people? Well, the Swedes are really nice. It seems that they always have a smile on their faces. When I first got here, I didn't have a bike, so my landlord allowed me to use his bike until I got my own. Mm -hmm. It's quite typical for Swedish people. Actually, why did you decide to study the Master Program of Innovation and Business Development? Well, I just think it's a very exciting and interesting study because, mm -hmm. of course, you can get a lot of job opportunities such as a market specialist or a project manager, all kinds of uh, jobs in the economical field. So it's very interesting. Yeah. yeah. Maybe let's give them a little more information about this program of ours. Yeah. Maybe we should allow our program director, Joachim, tell a little about the program. Yeah, we can do that. The two years, 120 credits, master program in management of innovation and business development, deals with the nature of innovations and business development with an orientation toward international markets. The courses you study are aimed at getting to know the fields of economics and technology across subject boundaries and are combined with more practically oriented course elements, such as case studies or projects in collaboration with industry. You do a lot of group work together with students from other countries with a background from both business administration and engineering. The two years master program has three different entries in the form of one year master programs, and they are international marketing, strategic management and leadership, and the technical project and business management program. During the first term, the three different one-year master programs study different courses, depending if you have a bachelor in engineering or business administration. The courses during the first term are International Marketing Strategy, Frontiers of Research in International Marketing, Strategic Innovation Management, Scientific Examination in Strategic Innovation Management, Business Management, Entrepreneurship and Innovation, growth and business development. During the second term you study research method, leadership development and write a master dissertation of 15 credits. During the second year and term three you study management and economics of innovation, diffusion and adoption of innovations, management of change and frontiers in research on management of innovation and business development. And during the fourth term International Marketing Communication, Multicultural Management, and a Master Two-Year Dissertation of 15 credits. We've got different classes and seminars here at Halmstad University. However, we will show you one of the examples we got here as a lecture. About, uh, Normally, the teacher stands in front of the class like this, other. really traditional and according to European to standards. So However, some things can differ for you. And, uh, What's different with studying on a master level? 
is the academic responsibility. It's not so much about reading them the texts, but more of interpreting and questioning them, and then drawing our own conclusions. <laughs> Take this example. The teacher hands out the assignments, and he sits down, groups us up, discuss what he thinks about it, and asks what we think about it. So we get a discussion going on. The teacher gives us theoretical understanding, as you can see, and then we learn how to apply them in real-life situations. And thank you very much, and this is, this means plus two. Thank you. Thank you. So, in your spare time, what are you doing on campus? Oh my, there are a bunch of things you can do in your spare time just on campus. There is a big gym where you can play soccer, you can work out, or even indoor climbing. Or, if the weather allows, you can go down to the beach, play football, play volleyball or even take a swim in the sea. And uh, how about you? What do you like doing in your spare time on campus? Well, I really like the beach and I also like the surroundings. There are a lot of woods there. So just go and have a stroll there. Just me, myself, my thoughts. That's all actually. And if I go home, I just watch a movie with some friends or just go downtown. Okay. Do you want to go downtown and have a coffee? Yeah, why not? Sure. Could you put away the laptop, please? Yeah, okay, but there is internet access everywhere in this country. So, where were we? Well, uh, we talked about campus life, but we did not talk about life in downtown, in the city. So, I think they should be interested in it, right? True, Halstatt has a lot of things going on. During the daytime, it's calm and cozy. Everything is near. It just takes 10 minutes to ride a bike from the school to the city center. In the center, there are different kinds of cafes, restaurants, shops, parks and stores. Yeah, I think I agree with that. Because Hamsad is a very cozy city and you can even explore it by food. And during the night there are a lot of nightclubs, so I think it's easy to enjoy yourself during the evening hours. And there you go. Well, I think we really have to hurry up, otherwise we'll be late for Michael's dinner. Yeah, let's go. One of the most important parts of the university are the people that surround you in class. We all come from different cultures and backgrounds and there is so much knowledge to share amongst us. Today we get together at Michael's place to discuss all the things we've done today and of course what we're going to do at class. Everybody brought some food, so it's going to be a really nice happening. And now my favorite, the Swedish meatballs. It's getting late and tomorrow is a new day, so I think it's time to get going. Yeah, I hope you really enjoyed our little guide through Hamstad University and of course Hamstad itself. Give the university a call or just check out the homepage for more information. Bye bye! Taxi Muket for Admiha Tita Okedo!
Dagsimuket for at mi har dita e hello. Ok, hello.